Arcana Aquarians, happy birthdays. This is the birthday reading for the Aquarians between um, February 1st and uh, 1st and 7th February. This is the first week. This is going to be the fifth week of the year. Um, and this is your solar year. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please remember to like and share these videos. Aquarian, thank you. Thank you so much for um, last week. Uh, last week was just so powerful with the birthday readings. Uh, please remember to show your love by likes, share, and thumbs up. All right, Aquarians, this is your solar year. So let's uh, go in, check in, and see what is transpiring. What are you going to be affected with? You're going to be very, very... Um, uh, um, very, very, um, uh, it's, it, the energy of the eye of wisdom is the energy of the magician. And this energy of the magician is very, very powerful. So uh, you're going to be using everything that you have in your power in order to create some sort of a stability in your world. So whatever you're going to acquiring, you're going to be having everything that you need in order to um, um, take what it is that the universe is giving you. So it's as if this year, all of you that is born from the 1st of February until the 7th of February will have what it takes to bring forward um, everything that you need in your life. I see justice come up on um, a Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpion man. Justice came up on a Scorpion man. Um, they're going to be recognizing what the scorpion man have done. Together, justice came up with a scorpion man and a cancer man. So a lot of you, if you're married to a, a scorpion and a cancer, there is some sort of an issue, some sort of a situation, some sort of a problem where justice is going to be coming up on this man. Um, an end is going to be coming in. People are going to be recognizing some sort of an unfair game that was happening. And an end is going to be coming into that. The sentence foundation is that you Aquarians are going to be having all that it takes for you to be very successful. You're going to be having this. You're going to be using this. And you're going to be exhilarating this in a very, very powerful way. So this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. A lot of you Aquarians are going to be recognizing how powerful um, you are in this solar year, use this power and uh, um, connect with people, network with people, and you're going to be recognizing that this year is going to be extremely, extremely powerful. People who were born, we're going to be looking um, at people who were born the first until the third. Um, what are you contenting with? Uh, some sort of a deceptiveness. And I see that a uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn person is going to be showing up the dishonesty of a cancer man and uh, you are going to be helping this person to use the swords of truth in order to resolve some sort of a horrible deceptive play that was um, transpired that people are now recognizing that, that there was some sort of a dishonesty um, a lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming the situation. Light is going to be shedding on some terrible, um, deceptive play that has transpired. People are recognizing who a scorpion man is and what a scorpion man have done. So people from the 1st of February until the 3rd of February are going to be dealing with some sort of a deceptiveness. Deceptiveness. And you're going to be standing your ground. People are going to be helping you. A Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn woman is going to be helping a lot of you in order to take down a scorpion man and show up a scorpion man for some sort of an horrible play that he has done. Is this your husband? Is this, um, is this your husband? Um, is this your father? Who, who is this man? Um, whether it's a supervisor, whether it's someone who is... Um, a colleague or a um, family member, you're going to be using the sword of truth to take this person down. All right, let's look at the people who were born 
um, on the 1st of February. Congratulations. Uh, this year is going to be, this solar year for you is going to be very, very good. You have your own energy of the star. The energy of the star is very, very positive. The energy of the star is some sort of a healing between you and a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn woman. Um, this is going to be positive because what is transpiring is that some some information came out that create some sort of a positive healing for you and this person. Um, you are both recognizing that there was some sort of a horrible play. This lady is showing up the horrible play and people are recognizing some sort of a horrible um, play that is going to be happening and this lady is going to be like a protector to you okay so um whoever this lady is this lady is helping you aquarians to stand your ground and is going to be showing you up that there was some horrible play that was going on and you're going to be able to recognize this so it is coming up also that some of you aquarians if you're business women this year is going to be an extremely good year for you the hardship is going to be under you. The lies and the deceptiveness is going to be under you. You can see the energy of the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is about being um, stabbed in the back and ruined. Um, but whoever this lady is, is going to be helping you to bring back some sort of a balance because this lady has recognized what has transpired. So the energy of the star is about healing. If some of you or your mom wasn't well, some sort of a healing is going to be coming in. Maybe some of you have to take some sort of a surgery in this year. Don't worry about it. A lot of you, communication is, is going to be the key. But I see that some of you are going to be using the sword of truth in order to communicate very, very careful. So 17, um, it's going to be a good year, ladies and gentlemen. Use the energy in this year. And some of you are going to be very, very financial stable. The Queen of Pentacles is about um, financial stability. So this is going to be good. But what is also going to be happening is that a lot of you are going to be letting people recognize some sort of a dishonest play that has created by people. And the light is going to be showing up how um, someone was... Uh, dishonestly um treated dishonestly um so 17 and 10 10 is new start 17 um is eight financial stability and abundance for you guys so then we see all of you are in thoughts because you recognize that people have not been speaking the truth it's like a year where a lot of you especially men is going to be recognizing that people we're not speaking the truth. So this is a, going to be um, a year of uh, you um, um, changing the way that people um, create their world by you are going to be the one to set example. Alrighty, let's move on. February 2nd. February 2nd is the energy of the devil. The energy of the devil is in the details. Whatever is transpiring, um, a lot of you are going to be using the sword of truth to take down some horrible, horrible play that has transpired. So what is here and is transpiring is that with the energy of the devil, um, again, some of you are working with a Taurus or a Capricorn person and a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. And you they're going to be recognizing the horrible play of a Cancer man. So is this your father? Who is this? Is this a family member? Is this a colleague? You're going to be having to contempt with this really sick person, this horrible sick person and what the sick person have done. The energy of the devil is here. And with the energy of the devil, they saw that this man have created some deceptiveness. A woman that is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn is going to be showing up and have and is going to be showing up this man about the horrible, horrible things that he has done. A lot of you hold the sword of truth in your hand. And this is going to be a year where a lot of you are going to be standing up with the help of a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person and showing up a cancer man for a horrible, horrible play that he has done. So use the sword of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Take down people. Um, I see that there, this man is not going to be getting away with what he has done. 
I see they're going to be recognizing how um, dishonest this man is and is definitely not going to be getting away with what he has done. So you have one, seven, the devil is 15, 15 and one is six. So you have one, six, seven and 15. Use the sword of truth and take down a false situation that been happening and has been transpiring. You need to really use the sword of truth and take down some undesirable situation that is going to be coming to some of you, okay? All right, let's look at the people who were born on the 3rd of February. On the 3rd of February, um, you have the energy of the hermit. You are going to be shedding light. Um, the 3rd of February is um, people who are born on the 3rd of February is going to be very, very powerful. You're shedding light on some horrible, horrible lies and deceptiveness that was created where people try to use um, their powers in order to create some sort of an instability. And I see you shed light of the, the lies and deceptiveness of other people. So I see Aquarian, especially Aquarian that is born on the February 3rd of February, you're really shedding light on a situation. And because you let people know what was transpiring, they're going to be recognizing that a scorpion man has not, has been very, very deceptive. Whoever the scorpion man is, um, you're going to be showing up a scorpion man and showing how deceptive this man is and what this man have done and how this man have created a whole lot of issues. Um, moving out of this year, I see a lot of you are going to be collaborating. Some of you at work would be having worries over work or worry over people that you're working with, um, a sort of a worrisome situation. But what is transpiring is that you took down whatever the dishonest play is and was, you have taken it down and you're showing up the people and the person that was doing it. So a lot of you are going to be um, letting people know something about a scorpion man. Whoever the scorpion man is, I see you guys are like, no, people should know the horrible deceptiveness and the theft that this scorpion man had created. So they're going to be recognizing. So if you notice, a lot of you, um, for the first until the third, is dealing with a whole lot of issues that have to do with some sort of a deceptiveness in this in this new year, the solar year that is coming in. But you are going to be bringing balance. You're definitely going to be bringing balance and you're definitely going to be showing up uh, the horrible play of a scorpion man and a cancer man. So um, you guys are going to be shedding light on some sort of a horrible play where a scorpion man uh, stole, I've definitely stole something and they're going to be seeing how deceptive and false a scorpion man is, okay? Alrighty, so your numbers is going to be nine, so you're ending a situation with a deceptive scorpion man. Nine and seven, you're going to be um, recognizing uh, the deceptiveness of a person and bring it to, to an end, okay? So that is good. All right, so let's go look at the people who were born on the 4th of February. Now, the 4th of February, I'm going to look at you guys alone because what is transpiring is that you are using the energy of the magician to collaborate with other people. And this is going to be bringing out positivity in your world, but yet still the world of other people. So whatever information, whatever you're manifesting, into your world, it's going to be helping other people. So as you see, um, whatever is uh, in the eaters uh, is coming down. So whatever is in the hair is coming down. You have everything that you have in order to protect yourself in this year for the people who were born on the 4th of February. And what I see you're doing is that you're taking down some this um, some false uh, um, situation, some sort of a corruption, using the sword of truth against a Pisces cancer or a scorpion man. They're recognizing how horrible these people have been and what these people have done. Then we see the energy of you, you standing your ground and it's as if uh, whoever is doing exam or anything, you're going to be passing and passing with eye marks. So whoever this uh, man is and whatever this man was done, you use uh, everything in your power to make sure that you end this situation, end a situation 
what a Pisces Cancer Scorpion was doing and letting people recognize and trying to remove the veil of illusion from people's face so that people can recognize um, the horrible play that was happening and transpiring and letting people know exactly what was happening. So the energy of the magician is here and with the energy of the magician, you're going to be bringing people together and by doing that, people are going to be appreciating this, but people are going to be um, recognizing, um, you know, new ways of doing things. So it's as if you're going to be the leaders and the teachers of this year, and it's going to be good. So congratulations. We have uh, um, you, number one. This is good. This is a positive energy. Um for you guys uh, the energy of the magician um and uh, with the energy of the magician you're working together with others and collaborating number three which is very good so you have one three and four one three and four your extra bonus is that um you are going to be uh, someone in your family could be um getting sick they're going to be recognizing that someone in the family is going to be getting sick in this year, um, but they're going to be getting better, okay? So if you were born on the 4th of February, someone in the family could get sick, but they are going to be feeling better. Um, a cancer, they're going to be recognizing how sick a cancer is, that a cancer man is very disturbed. Um, they're going to be recognized the sickness of a young cancer. So the cancer man, the older man is disturbed, but the young child is sick. It can be mentally sick or just physically sick, okay? All right, so um, congratulations. Um, you're going to be the leaders of uh, um, this year. This year, you're going to be bringing back a whole lot, getting people together to work together and that sort of a thing. So congratulations. So, then as we look at the energy where we have the energy of um, the fifth, the, yeah, the fifth, the sixth and the seventh, um, I see some of you could be paying out some money. Whatever is happening and transpiring, it's a year where a lot of you, so it could be buying a new house, buying a new car, um, refurbishing your house, that sort of a thing. Um, I see some of you um, could be doing that, okay? That is when you pay out a lot of money. So I see an end is coming in and you're very, very successful. Money is going to be returning to a lot of you. So some of you are paying it out. Some of you are receiving it, okay? Um, so an end has come to a very disturbing situation that was transpiring and uh, um, very disturbing. And you're going to be very, very successful, Um uh, you guys uh, from the 5th until the 7th money is going to be coming back on some of you are going to be um, surprised by the amount of money that you're going to be receiving um, your worries is uh, going to be over um, some sort of an information some sort of an information is going to be coming out from the past uh, and I see that um, the ace of love is in reverse now the energy of the ace of love whether upright or in reverse, um, it is in reverse because the page of pentacles is pointing. So when you're giving out money, you're not really happy. Okay, so some sort of something from the past is going to be making you have to pay out a lot of money. And that's where the love is not coming in because people do not like to pay or yeah, or pay out a lot of money. No matter what, if even you're buying a car, you want to find the cheapest car at a good price, that sort of a thing. So recognize that. So it is going to be um, bittersweet. When the cup of love is in the reverse, it's going to be bittersweet. It's as if, uh, if you notice, it's really bittersweet because some, some of you are going to be receiving money. Some of you have to pay out money because the page is an invoice, it's message that you have to pay out money. It's in reverse, so the money is going out, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what is going on. So for the people who were born on the 5th, this is going to be a very psychic year. You're going to be working with your spirit guides. It's as if your psychic is going to be going up like a ripped iron. Whatever is transpiring, I see secrets, information is going to be coming out to a lot of you. They're going to be recognizing that there was multiple... Um, 
uh, um, a TIFF that was created. Um, so um, a lot of you are going to be recognizing emotional, uh, some sort of an emotional situation, but multiple TIFF was created. And um, a lot of people had collaborated to create this deceptiveness and truths. Their secret is going to be coming out. You could be finding out, you could be recognizing and putting a lot of people um, together who have created a huge criminal theft, okay? And people are going to be recognizing the horrible um, situation because you're bringing back healing and re revealing the secrets that people were not aware of, okay? Secrets about uh, um, money is going to be coming in where people are trying to make you pay some sort of a money um, back and you are, you're like... Uh, pay for what so i see a lot of you are going to be fighting um with some sort of an invoice fighting with some sort of a situation because you recognize that uh, someone is trying to uh, take money from you on the false pretend um as if they want uh, they're stretching out something so that you can pay and you're like no i'll wait as long as it take i'm not paying any more money and i see you know someone was trying to block something or hold something so you have to make a lot of payments and you're like no 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 i am not going to be a paying extra this is not going to be happening i'm definitely not going to be paying extra it is what it is but no i'm not going to be doing that so i see you're going to be ending some sort of a secrecy that was going on and a lot of worries that was around you um you're going to be ending this it's as if some of you just recognize what was going on that they wanted is as if they wanted um you to pay more and you're like no i'm not paying it and that's why the energy of the cups the pen the page is in the reverse and the energy of the cups where you said nope i'm not paying it it is wrong um this is uh, um a, this a form of deceptiveness and i'm not paying it so i see the energy of the uh, eye princess is really um secrets came out and a situation a worrisome situation is now going to be ended because people have recognized some horrible play that has transpired so you have two six and nine two six and nine now two is about duality and connecting with the spiritual realm six is about ending some sort of a um dishonest play that was going on where people were trying to um take you down for money and the virus is going to be ending because it is the last card. So whatever virus that you guys have, it's definitely going to be ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this virus, people are very jealous. You got to recognize that a lot of people are very jealous, very jealous. And a lot of jealous people are around you. So you, st you keep your eyes on target and recognize because there's a lot of jealous people around you in this year. So recognize that, okay? All right, so we're going to the people who were born on the 6. You have a powerful energy, the energy of the sun. Um, whatever you decide to do in this year, you say, yes, 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 go for it. Do you want to buy a car? Do you want to buy a house? Do you want to relocate? Whatever you want to do is a yes. And taking an exam, you're going to be very, very successful. So go ahead and do it. Someone who was sick, is um, an end is going to be coming in. So um, obviously it's not dead. So, so someone who was sick, um, some sort of a changes is going to be coming up and you're going to be successful overcoming um, this horrible situation where some of you were dealing with a person that uh, was uh, um, not well, okay? I see a lot of you are going to be offered something. You're going to be taking it and you're going to be ending and you're going to be looking forward. I see money is going to be returned to a whole lot of you. So, Whatever has transpired, um, some sort of unexpected money is going to be coming in for a lot of you. Where is this money coming from? What is this money about? It's just like unexpected um, um, uh, payments, money that you never know that was uh, going to be coming in for you is going to be coming in for you. Okay. Then we see that you're going to be successful and you're going to be recognizing that someone wanted you to pay more money and that is the reason why they have been like playing with something playing 
um, with something in order for something to take longer or to do something double. And you're going to be recognizing and recognizing the, the play that people were doing. And you're going to be successful over this because you're going to, you're, some of you were not recognizing that people were trying to take you down for more money. And in this year, you're going to be recognizing that, hey, why am I always paying, paying, paying? No, 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 no. And you're going to be recognizing that, hey, people always think that I am the one who is financial stability. And I see that this is the year that you're going to recognize, no, nope, you're going to be putting on the blinders. Blinders when you go out, blinders at home, blinders with girlfriend, blinders with people. Yeah, no more. I'm not going to be the one that is going to be picking up the bill anymore. Um, you got to figure out your own um, thing for yourself. Okay. So this is um, a year where you're going to be successfully recognizing that people were um, extorting you. A lot of people were extorting you and um, recognition is going to be coming up where a lot of you could be recognized for some sort of a work where you recognize that people were paid money underneath the table in order to get some sort of a um, work and some sort of a situation done. And people are now going to be recognizing. The blindfolds are going to be off and I see a lot of positive news is going to be coming in after the horrible um, situation of people just being jealous over a lot of you. So the energy of the sun is always powerful. Energy of the sun is 19. Um, one and nine is 10. A 10 is about a new start. Omega is speaking to you. So the universe is going to be on your side. They're going to be recognizing something that someone wanted, uh, something to pay twice. But I see that um, some sort of a positive news is going to be coming in like, no, this person don't have to pay twice. It is good. So, so um, wonderful. So expect some sorts of a wonderful news. So you are the one who got the best, best um, message because the rest of the people were recognizing the false people around them, the people who were, um, were criminals and that sort of a thing. And people are, are, and you are the one who got the very, very good, good message. So expect a new year. Congratulations. So then when we look at, uh, um, um, the person that is born on the 7th of February, congratulations, the wheel of fortune. That mean fortune is coming back to you. A lot of money is going to be coming back to a lot of you. A lot of you that was ripped off by a whole lot of people, this money is coming back. So I see in the past, a lot of you, money was taken because of jealousy, hate and jealousy. People were jealous of uh, who you are, what you have accomplished and has drained you dry of your financial stability. And if you notice, the money is going to be coming back to you. If you notice the way the wheel of fortune and um, the page is not pointing in um, the few, the, the back, but it's coming in of pentacles. So it's as if um, um, some money that people had stolen or taken there, there it is. So if you notice the wheel of fortune and this too, is that money is coming back to you. It's as if some of you had paid out some money in the past and now people are recognizing that you are bit, you were overpaid and they are going to be returning some money. So it could be unexpectedly some sort of a money that uh, should have come in. Um, you never got it. You weren't aware of it and that sort of a thing. And now I see this money as return and I see the energy of the Ace of Cups as in reverse. It doesn't really matter. Um, the money needs to return. The universe is making sure people are not going to be happy with that, but it is what it is. So, so I see no love is coming in. Um, a lot of people um, is standing their grounds um, about the situation that was happened in another country, another city. Um, no love is coming in from um, that place. Um, so it's, it's as if something overseas. They have to pay you a lot of money for something that happened in another city, in another country. It could have been that you went on a trip and something happened. They have to pay you a lot of money and uh, um, they're not really happy um, about it. So you're like, you know, the damage is done. You need to clear it up. And I see 
um, that a lot of you are going to be recognizing that there was some sort of an unfair situation that was transpiring and you are going to be recognizing, no, 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 no. You know, I need my money, give me my money back, um, whatever that was happening and transpiring. Nope, I need my money, give me my money back, okay? So a lot of you are going to be having to deal with this sort of a thing where um, you're going to be recognizing that there was some horrible, horrible situation. And I see that um, someone in another place, another city, whoever these people are, whatever that was going on, have to pay you a lot of money um, because of what they have done. They're hating on you. Yeah, they they were the one who started this. So let it go. Oh, so ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be powerful, especially for the people who were born on the 7th of February, because it's as if something that has happened in the past, money that was taken from you in the past, is going to be coming back. I see a lot of people are not going to be happy, but they're going to be, it's as if they're going to be caught and people are going to be saying, pay the money back. Whatever they have done, whatever is transpiring, they're going to be caught and people are going to be saying, pay the money back. Pay the money back. It is uh, what you have done, what you have to, um, created. You need to pay this person. So it could be like some sort of an accident, some sort of a, someone tried to damage your reputation. Someone took money on the false pretense. Someone should have paid you, never paid you. A whole work, a whole colleague, a whole employer, all employee. And they're going to be saying, no, pay the money back. And I see, um, that's why there is no love coming to you is because they recognize that a huge situation has transpired and they need to pay you back. Ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be a wonderful year. A lot of you could be traveling. A lot of you could be unhappy that you have to travel. A lot of you want to travel. You can't travel. That is why the energy of the Ace of Cups is there. A lot of you are going to be ending relationship um, that is far away from you. A lot of you are going to be recognizing there is no need for this relationship and you're going to be ending it. So be aware of this. Wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be an absolutely um, a year where you're standing your ground. It's a year that you're cleaning up the mess. This is the year of the Aquarian. We're coming into Aquarian time. You're cleaning up the mess. This first week is governed, your year is governed by the energy of the hangman. So a lot of you are just sitting back, standing back and cleaning up a whole lot of situation, clearing out your life of a whole lot of situation that was transpiring. Showing people and let people recognize that I do not accept uh, the real deceptive move and play. I don't accept it. And you're letting people be aware of this. I got to go, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a wonderful year, solar year. Remember that the soul over here is from uh, people who were born February 1st until February um, 2nd, uh, um, 7th. <laughs> Something is going to be happening February 2nd, ladies and gentlemen. And it's going to be affecting each and every one of you. So February 2nd, a lot of you are going to be recognizing that someone has created some sort of a deceptive move. And a lot of you are going to be recognizing this and is going to bring an end to it. So be aware of this. February 2nd, expect something to happen. People who were born on February 2nd, you're going to be rooting and using the sword of truth. Congratulations. I love you guys. I gotta go.